Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be trying new makeup out and not only that, this is my new camera so I'm testing it out. The reason why I have been MIA or not posting as recent um, is because my son. So um, he is about going to be about a month old so that's why I haven't been able to you know, upload as much as I want to. But since now I got a new camera, I will be. Follow me on all of my social media, guys, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Now let's start off by taking this um, Morphe Copper um, Shadows. This is the eyeshadow palette in Copper. This is the 25A. And these are the ones that are just newly released. So um, I went down to the Burbank um, Morphe store and I had to pick it up as well as I picked up a lot of more shit. But I'm going to be taking that nice orangey transition color. You guys, this colors everything. Then I'm going to be taking a little bit more of that MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to be putting that down on my eyelid. Because I will be going right with another color right away. And I really want it to be as vibrant as possible. So, then taking this burnt um, reddish orange kind of color that's more of like a sienna kind of color from anastasia and you guys i just love that shade and so what i'm just doing is i'm packing this shade with a flat brush not going above my crease as much i want to keep it a little bit low and then later on we'll blend the whatever we is left on the brush we will blend it upwards later on So I, right here, all I'm doing is just packing and packing um, just to make sure I don't have any like harsh, um, not harsh, um, I'm just packing so that way I'm not missing any, you know, skin, so that way none of the skin peeks through. I'm just making sure the whole eyelid has that on there. And then I'm going to be taking this So Hollywood highlighter and um, highlighting the brow bone and then taking these B Bella lashes and batty. You guys, these lashes are everything, and they're only about, like, $12. And look how full they are, guys. They're just, like, so beautiful. And what I'm just doing here, guys, is just measuring it on my eye. And then I'm going to be taking the Dose of Colors. This is a new brush that I picked up at Namie's. And um, this is the Dose of Colors Eyeliner Brush. And it's super thin, guys, and I absolutely love it. This is my new favorite eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to be adding a little thin line um, just so that when I go in with the eyelashes, it is going to hide the lash band. And I don't want to cover up any of my work. As you guys can see, this eyeshadow is super easy, but I want this eyeshadow to show. So we're going to keep it as thin as possible. Then just going to be taking um, the House of Lashes lash glue and then um, popping my eyelashes on. You guys look at how full these eyelashes are. They're so beautiful. And don't mind my mirror. It is so dirty. Then taking a little bit more of that um, So Hollywood highlighter and putting that in the inner corner of the eye as well. Then these are the new, um, well they're not new, but they're new to me. And these are the Craylon TV Paint Sticks. And I got one for highlighting and one for um, my actual skin tone and um, so right off the bat guys I love this um, foundation the only thing is, is that I do I would suggest to spray some fix plus or something onto the stick before you go in um, and swipe it on your skin because it is a little rough and it tugs a little bit at the skin but you guys this coverage is like so good so so good and this one I did pick up at Nami's as well and I'm just using my Morphe M439 foundation brush to just buff and blend it outwards. And you guys, look at that coverage. Do you guys see how full coverage that is? And the shades that I am using will be down, listed down below. Um, but you guys absolutely love this foundation. It's so full coverage and porcelain looking like. Like, I love how it looks. I love the fake look. I don't want to look natural. Like, I always tell you guys that. And you guys, this foundation is amazing. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to review this foundation against the Hourglass foundation. 
and um i will um do that video soon so that way we can see which one is better and yeah so right here all i'm doing is i'm just stippling it on my face and um, putting the found extra foundation on the extra areas that I feel that I like I need it. Then um, this is the other TV paint stick and this is the lighter one that I was telling you about. So I'm using this one under my eyes. Um, I didn't like how it felt under the eyes. But, um, but then again I didn't use a beauty blender so... Next time, I'll try it different ways. And then now this is the Morphe um, concealer. I've never tried. So any of these products, I've never really tried. But anyway, I loved this color of the Morphe, um, of this Morphe concealer. Um, it was a little drying, um, which I don't mind because it, I kind of like that it sets on its own and my under eyes are not, you know, normally like super dry. So I'm able to use this concealer. Um, I have to play with it a little bit more. This was the first time that I used it, and so I was a little skeptical with it at first, and, you know. Anyway, though, I love this shade, guys. That's the thing that I love about this concealer so much is the shade, and this one is a nude. And, you guys, I'm so sorry for chewing like a cow. I did not know... I did not, I, I, after reviewing this footage back, I can't believe how, you know, like, how disgusting I was chewing. <laughs> but it's because the reason why, too, was because I was talking throughout the video because my girlfriend was dyeing her hair right next to me, and so I was just talking to her. And so that's why, like, I was chewing and talking at the same time, and I looked like a cow. But anyway, so sorry, guys, about that. But we won't die. Now I'm just setting all of that concealer with, the no color powder from um, RCMA and I'm just going to be baking all of the areas that I normally bake. You guys, I love this eyeshadow though. Like I honestly believe that this eyeshadow palette um, is so good compared to the other ones that they have. Um, they're so blendable and they were so like um, creamy and buttery and like they were so better. They were just better in my opinion um, versus all the other palettes. So, yeah. Now, all I'm doing is I'm just taking that 01 light powder to just set, oops, excuse me, to set um my whole face. And then I'll be just wiping all of that bakage away. Then, now, this is my new favorite bronzer, guys. I've had it for years, but I finally, like, tried it and gave it a shot because a long time ago I did try it but I didn't like it but then again I was more inexperienced with makeup so um but anyway guys I love this powder now like it's one of my favorite favorite powders now and this one is the um black radiance this is the photo focus I think um this is the finishing powder and you guys I love this powder you guys can find this at Walmart that's where I found mine and um I absolutely loved it guys look at how like orange not orange but <laughs> yeah you guys already know I don't like anything um, for my bronzers to be any cool tone so this is very warm so that's why I love it and I'm just gonna be reapplying that inner corner highlight and then um, removing all the bakage and look you guys look how nice that looks super precise my cheekbones look pop in and it looks really good then I'm gonna be spraying my face with a little bit of fix plus um, because I want all of those powders and stuff that I use to sink into my skin and not look powdery. And as well because the next thing I will be going in was with this Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. You guys, I picked this up at Nanny's and I love, I love this freaking highlighter. It's powder, but uh, look at that. That was like not even a swipe and look at how intense and like beaming and glowing and everything that is. Sorry my lighting kept changing, but anyway, you guys get the gist of it. But look at that highlighter, guys. Tell me you guys don't love it. I love it, and it looks so pretty. I will like another, um, I'll probably purchase another one. Um, just because I do want more of a goldish kind of color as well. But anyway, then um, all I did was um, line my lips with the Natural Lip Liner from Italiana. Then I'm going to be going in with this brunch 
um, liquid lipstick from Morphe. And you guys, this new liquid lipstick, I absolutely love it. It is not chalky. It, it doesn't crumble. It's not, you know, like, it just, it's perfect, guys. And I, sorry, I love this nude shade. It's so pretty. It goes good with this look. And it's going to be going good with whatever I'm wearing later on in the video. And you guys, look at how pretty that is. Super pretty. Now I'm going to be taking that um, same shade that I use in the on the eyes. And I'm just going to be taking it down and blending it on my lower lash line. And then followed by, um, I'm going to be using a Inglot 05 cold pencil. And um, this is just basically a cream um, liner. And then I'm going to be putting some mascara and calling it a day, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, guys. I love you guys every day. Thank you so much for supporting me. And if you guys are new to my channel, well, welcome. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, you guys need to subscribe and follow me so you guys can see all my future videos. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Love this Morphe palette. It was so worth it. Diamond Gold Powder was so worth it. The liquid lipstick, everything.